and now let's click on run and let's run it and you will see that it is showing welcome to home base done Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to make Flask web application at Google Colab. As you all know, Google Colab has very fast GPU and you can make many machine learning and AI projects on Google Colab even if you have very smallest processor in your computer. Just open your browser, open your Google Colab and make the application and run at the runtime. And in this video, we are going to learn how to make Flask web app onto Google Colab. So for that, we'll have to install some things. First of all, uh, as you all know that Flask is already installed on Google Colab, you don't have to install Flask, but you will have to install some more things. So open one project here. I have opened one file. You can go to file and create the notebook. And under this notebook, let's rename it as flask underscore collab. And I have made in my drive in collab notebooks, I have made one folder called flask at collab tutorial. And in this, I have made this file. Okay. So this file is here. Now, let's first install some parameters. The first module which we will install is flask n0. In previous video, I have already elaborated what is the benefits of Flask and Rock. Let's elaborate once more. The Flask and Rock lets you run your application live and you will see that how it look, will look when you will go live on your website. So, first of all, I will install Flask and Rock. So, I will use the command pip install flask ng rock okay and in current flask ng rock you will get some errors when you will run your flask ng rock application on google collab so for that you will have to install one more thing that is called pi ng rock okay so i will install here pi ng rock and I will use the version of Find Rock as 4.1. So I am initializing it. Now you will have to get the authorization token from PyNG Rock. And for that, you will have to first install it. Let's install it first. Okay, so it has installed Pi and Zerog and also the Flask and Zerog. Now let's make one more cell and under this cell let's import Flask. So I will write here from Flask import Flask. Now let's install Flask and Zerog. Uh, let's import Flask and Zerog. So I will write here the from flask ng rock we will have to import only one thing and that is called run with ng rock very simple command run with ng rock and now let's make the application of flask with using this flask object and under this we will pass the name done now let's come down below and let's one uh, use the run with flask in the rock and under this we will pass app and with using this line your flask application will run on ng rock website 
okay let's see how it will run and what i will have to do so under this let's make one method here and for that i will have to use one root so i will use app dot root and under this root the first root will be this okay and now sorry and now let's define one method and that is called home and under this let's return something okay like suppose i'm making one heading h1 And under this, I'm writing welcome to CID. Okay, done. And now let's come down and write here app dot run. All things are similar as we run Flask, but here with running on Flask and Xerox, we'll use run with Xerox, and we will just assign the flask application in run with and zero done now let's run it after running you will get first link that is for your local computer because we are running on flask uh, running on google collab so it will not work so you will have to run uh, click on this second one running on okay so click here and now it will say that before you can serve html content you must sign up for a free zero account okay so for that you will have to sign up it's totally free don't worry and here you will get your authorization token okay so just come here and just copy it and come down here and let's say we have to assign this thing this authorization token in our application so for that i will have to stop it okay and i will write here uh, come down here come on the top and let's write here so that all the installation and setting things will be in one cell so i, I will write here ng rock auth token and here i will paste the token okay so this will be my token and now let's run it again so that authorization token will be installed in our configuration file for ngrog now as you can see it has written authorization token shift to configuration file okay so it is done now when you will run it again then it will show your application come here and click to visit site and you will see that it is writing writing welcome to cid okay now let's go before for that let's first connect our google collab with this collab dot book so for that we'll have to mount our google collab so for that we'll use from google dot collab import drive okay and now i will mount the drive so drive dot mount will be used and let's mount our google drive so i will give the path like this contain dash g drive so our google drive will be mounted here let's run it it will ask you the permission so let's give it permission so i will select my google account let's give the permission and now it will be mounted mount point must be in directory that exists okay so it has directory exist problem so let's see if there is a spelling mistake okay my mistake this is not the correct path it will be like this okay let's show it
Okay, then it has written mounted at content G drive. You can mount at any folder. Okay, let's go into the next cell and let's make some deeper things. So, first of all, let's import render template from Flask templating. So, I will use Flask dot templating. I will import render template okay and now we'll also have to import flask so i'll write from flask import flask now we'll also have to use the flask ng rock so i'll write from You don't have to import in all the cells, but as you know, if you will not run this cell and directly run this cell, then you will have to import the things. That's why I'm importing. Okay, so I'll write here from Flask ng rock. I'll import what? Done with ng rock. Okay. Now let's make uh, a template folder for our application okay template underscore folder and under this you will have to pass what will be the template folder of your flask application as you know that our application will be here in this folder flask and collab collab uh, collab tutorial so i will have to make one folder here right and what will be the name template so that we can save our template files like HTML files in this folder. So I'll write here template. Now create it. Now let's give the path of this. Okay. So for giving the path of this, we can come here and come G drive in my drive. Let's open collab notebooks and under this what is the folder name flask at collab tutorial so this will be the path and this is the template and let's copy the path and for copying the path let's paste it here done okay so this will be the path you can remove this content because we have mounted g drive so we can directly jump from bg drive here And after getting the path, you will have to make flask app. So I will write here app is equal to flask. And under this, let's pass first of all name variable. And this path, uh, I have to change the template folder. So I will write here template folder is equal to template folder which I have made right this one now let's make one page here first of all we are making one template folder uh, and under this folder we will have to make one file so I will just come here in template and under this template I will right click and I will click on new file and I will make it uh, home dot html okay home dot html okay and click enter so it has made just double click it and you can edit it in the right side okay and under this let us suppose we have made some files like uh, html HTML and under this I'm making h1 and under this I'm writing uh, a paragraph that 
that welcome to home page okay so it, it is like that now let's save it just control plus s and it will be saved now come here in our flask collab file and under this file let's do the similar thing like this just copy and paste it here and under this let us suppose we are making one another root and that is called app dot root slash home so both the roots will open the same thing okay so i will return here render template home.html okay so it will run the home.html instead of writing uh, showing any text okay so i'll have to run this so i'll just run with using app dot run now let's run and see if it is showing welcome to home page okay one mistake we have done we have not used run with ngrox so just copy it here and after this we'll have to pass app and now let's click on run and let's run it and you will see that it is showing welcome to home base done like this you can make any css file any other javascript file or any other html files and you can do all the things which you do in your local computer or like this on google collab we will see those things in next video so stay tuned see you in next video